I don't know who this is, but I'm jealous. Let's see if we can get a look. I'm jealous. Are you? <laughs> so, are you? Tell me who you are, and, and would you mind being on uh, yeah, yeah. camera at all? I, so, just you know, kind of like right there. Sure, sure. Yeah. So, I, I'm Bob Hughes, KD4BMG. I have a YouTube channel that focuses on, uh, Hold on just operating a in a Hold, uh, homeowners tag. association. So, I yep. put my name tag yep. on. Go ahead. That way Go ahead. Be there. <laughs> my club will be upset if I don't represent. <laughs> I'm naughty about wearing my name tag at home. <laughs> so I think anyone watching this video, uh, once I post it, it's going to go, I, I want that set up. <laughs> Obviously, you're illustrating as yeah. opposed to driving around like this constantly. But tell us about what you have here. Well, I, I do drive with this. Do you? Oh, OK. This is a contest setup. No kidding. And so uh, uh, by the way, back to your question, I'm Scott, uh, KE4WMF. And I drove down here from Virginia. OK. And so I don't normally trailer all of this stuff. I, I usually will drive with it like this. And so this isn't my day-to-day -day setup. This is just um, contest, VHF contesting. So maybe okay. four weeks out of the year, I'll have it all up. And then I have the verticals up all the time. And I put up these loops on the weekends. Okay. And so everything is set up to be modular so that I can remove and install. So quick quick disconnect or how, when you uh, say? Yeah, yeah, those are all over here. And so I've got this oh my. Okay. pass through to get it all out the out the door. So these are all for the uh, uh, the horizontal elements. So okay. be it loops or uh, or beams. Okay. And so I've got for loops I have two meter for, uh, 432 and 50 megs. I say two meters, but it's really just 144 megahertz. It doesn't tune. Yep. It's not wide banded. And then I've got the same bands up there for the for the beams. And then I have a spare port here. Eventually I'll have 222 because I'm setting up for uh, Rover Limited, which is the lowest four bands. And so I'm missing the, the, the 222 band. Okay. Once I have that, then I've got the ports for that. Fantastic. Wow. And so all your concept, all your design, all your ingenuity here. I mean, almost. Uh, almost. Yeah. The, uh, the tower, uh, this is heavily inspired by K5ND. He's got a really good website. And, uh, it, it's, it's very close to his, but not quite. I, I made a few changes just to fit my needs, but very, very closely modeled after his. Okay. Are and then you, the rest of it, I, I just kind of came up with on my own. So I've been thinking about doing some more mobile operating. Some life circumstances may kind of force that. Uh, so I've been thinking about setup in the car. I operate primarily out of my residence and backyard portable. I live in a homeowners association, but mm -hmm. I've been thinking, what do I need to do to set up for the interior of my car? So. Would you mind? I don't. I don't want to peek in your car if you don't want me to. Oh no, I don't mind at all. I'm just not done cleaning, so it'll be a little <laughs> bit of a mess. So, kind of talk about your setup. I see you've got a desk over there, in uh, the passenger seat. Yep. And what radios are you you running here? All right. So my primaries are right here. So this is a, an oh, ID5100, and that's the radio I use every day. Okay. And then right above that's an 891, which is my <laughs> HF rig. Okay. And then off over there. Um, I pulled my 857D out of retirement, and that's what I use for contesting. And I'm really glad I didn't get rid of that radio because it's, it's worth now more than what I paid for it 15 years ago. Right. I, th I thought of selling some of the radios that I don't that often use, and it's like, mm -hmm. do I really want to sell my radio? Yeah, now right now <laughs> I've got that ATAS hooked up to the 857, but eventually I'm going to have an antenna switch to where I can switch it on that one. Because the A57, I'll use the HF output for the uh, 222 transverter. Okay, Scott, you're now everyone's hero, hero who's watching this video. <laughs> awesome setup. This is inspiring. Are you a YouTuber? I'm a YouTuber. Yeah. Uh, me too. Ham. I've got uh, my channel is uh, Stealth GTI, okay. which doesn't make any ham sense whatsoever. <laughs> uh, it's a it's an automotive channel, but I have been putting the channel always follows my interests. And I've been doing, I, I only have mobile equipment. I don't have anything at home. So okay. I've been doing this for 25 years, but in the past year I've gone nuts with this. And so now I'm getting more ham content well, on my channel. I don't know that anyone watching would say nuts. They're saying you've, you've gone appropriate. <laughs> That's, this is where we all want to be. If, if you search my call sign on YouTube, my, the, the KE4WMF playlist will come up and that's Perfect. where most of my content is. Thank you, Scott, for your time. I appreciate right. it. Hope you have a great show. Yes. Take care.